Uh, hey man, what's up and what's great you guys? Um, if you guys have not seen Toy Story 4, it's amazing, I recommend it. But today, uh, Paul Cantor is referring to himself in the third person. And today I'm hitting up flea markets as you guys have requested. And also there is a thrift store on Tuck, a little small hidden gem of a thrift that I have not gone to. So today I'm gonna slide in that store, go to some fleas and basically see what the day beholdeth in regards to these divine finds. Let's get into it. All right guys, I got one little thing in this um, thrift store. So Winnie the Pooh, uh, my freaking piggy bank. He got that. Wow, that is a giant Dalmatian. Oh. Also, that chair looks very nice. He got that little um, focus, dude velvet cupcake on it what what is going on with my focus bro it is tripping tripping <laughs> also got <laughs> got my shorty a little here show him the ribs oh. little tommy for your mommy literally hold on move your damn hand look at that you got the little flag right there and then oh, girl you it looks, it looks bad girl the hold up hold up that arm down I'm trying to get the little side slip what you doing <laughs> yeah wait focus yeah, and it got that flag going all the way down the side. Oh my gosh. Dude, check it out. They got a ton of VHSs and they got the Jordan box. Straight optical illusion. I opened it and what's inside, bro. Oh, a lot of VHSs. <laughs> oh, they got me with that. Look at this, man. This is what I like to see. They got the 1993, the year in sports. My focus is fucking up. I think it's because it's so dark in here. But yeah, they got the 1993 year in sports. That's the year of my birth. So, of course, I got to grab it. Ugh. Oh, and they got my guy, Troy Aikman, scrambling. And they got Shaq with the magic. Oh, oh. baby! Tear down the rim! I definitely do have to get this guy right here. Also, look at Jane Fonda's. Super flexible. Look at them two socks. Swag. Swag. Oh, yes, sir, indeed. Guys, I love these old school suitcases. They got a couple of them. Um, oh, this one is so sick. It looks like it's falling apart a little bit, but the pattern is really dope on it. Yeah, I definitely want this one. I may get this one, too. Um, it's just cool to like decorate the crib with stuff like this. This is exactly what I was talking about and what I dreamed of. You already know what time it is, JC Higgins. Take you home with me. All right, so we're also digging through the records. Um, chill out, guys. You got the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger little book. I'm gonna get this for the backdrop to my guy right here. That's really cool. Um, then there's this metallic um, cornerstone record. I like that guy too. I'm just looking for dope like art, basically, to put behind these shelves in my crib. I'll show y'all what I mean. All right, we got a couple more, man. We got the Bert and Ernie, um, let your feelings show, express yourself. And then we also found this record. It says, uh, tell it like it is. These are both just great messages in the form of record titles. Um, I love the art on this one too. Dude, these are so nice. Nice! Oh, you cute as hell. <laughs> Guys, man, I also got this uh, Akeem Olajuwon bobblehead in there. I got this for $3, dude. The guy who runs this place, he's a really good dude, man. Really hooks it up. So, like, this thrift store, all the money goes to um, helping basically homeless people or people addicted to drugs, like, recover. And so I gave the dude, like, more bread because he hooked it up, man. I got each suitcase for, like, $3, which is a crazy, crazy deal and steal. So yeah, man, I got a bunch of good stuff for very cheap. Um, this Akeem the Dream bobblehead definitely goes hard, dude. So yeah, man. Shout out that dude. Fuck. Oh God, it's way too windy to record. <laughs> we pulled up to the a big ass flea market. I mean. Um, yeah, it's packed over here. So we're gonna see what they got. Uh, Shit. Um, guys, I just left this like booth that has a bunch of uh, like leather jackets and NASCAR jackets. 
Um, I got two jackets. Um, I really wasn't recording in there. I don't know why. Sometimes it feels awkward being all up in someone's grill um, at their booth. But yeah, I'll show you guys those, I guess, right now because they're freaking heat. Look at this, man. <laughs> we got another acquisition in this uh, booth with a bunch of drums, lunch kits, and books. A lot of books. I got the <laughs> Magician Tweety for $5. He got Salvester under his um, spell and control. So yeah, there's a all oh, pirate Mickey? Bruh. And there also is like another old Mickey over there. Um, some more cool stuff in the back. So I'm gonna see about exploring and getting back there. Dude, they also got this tiny little boom box in here. Pretty sick. Gotta know your limits with a boom box. All right, so now I'm gonna see if I can get to some of this stuff. How much is this one? That's way back there. All right guys, so I had to climb on this pickle bucket <laughs> to get to this old Mickey. There's a cool Snoopy back there too. I want to try and get to, but that's like right in the mix. I don't know. <laughs> right in the happen. middle of the stuff. Yeah, it's in the mix. There's definitely some good stuff in here. If the drums, <laughs> if the percussion wasn't what, all up in the way. And that's what I tell the owner all yeah. the time. Like, Trippy. Oh man, I found Mr. Red Eminem for three bucks. I'm gonna put a plant in him. Um, and then I found this Ernie. He's wearing a hoodie, pants. He's pretty dirty, but I'm gonna try and clean him. The lady says OxyClean will do the trick. So, but yeah, he definitely has some uh, some style going to him. Yes. All right. So I also got the Minnie Mouse to go with Mickey, and she's cool because she got the little shoes on, little red bottoms. Jesus bloody shoes. <laughs> um, and she has a little plastic head, plastic hands. Got the tag on her. Very nice. She actually is in really good shape. Happy about this little chick. Oh, so we hopped in this uh, pinata shop. The lady makes the, all the pinatas, and she made this really sick Chucky. He's probably like four foot six. Just look at him wielding the knife. It's a knife, bro. This is such good work. This is really cool. Oh man, that is an amazing pinata. Wow. So this lady also makes all of these little figures as well. Um, I like Safari Mickey. They got Buzz, Woody. Regular Mickey. That's so awesome. awesome. I'm so fucking awesome. All right, guys. So we're leaving the flea market, dude. What an excellent experience. They really had no clothes, which I don't know. I, I didn't really have expectations in the clothes, but I did get some accoutrements. Now, a lot of these are for myself. Some of them are for my booths, my pop-up shops. And um, I just like having the craziest stuff. And this lady who made the pinatas and these little things really was putting in work. So um, yeah, shout out to Flea Market. I had a good little time. I probably spent like a hundred bucks. Not too shabby for daddy, not too much money. But I got a lot of stuff today at the thrift and at this flea. You dig. So we made it to Ikea. I left my camera in the car like an idiot, but I really like this rug. It's retails like 300, but they drilled holes in it and it's the last one left. So I'm seeing as per management, if I can get it. And when I do, evidently it'll be discounted. So I'm trying to rug finesse at Ikea now. Hey guys, man. <clears throat> I got the rug in the cart. Y'all won't believe it. Got it for half off, dude. It's $149. Two of these have sold on eBay for 600 bucks <laughs> this month, bro. <laughs> I'm getting it for 150, boy. Come up. <laughs> <sighs> and all right, man. So um, after the well-executed IKEA finesse, um, I just stopped by one more Goodwill, and they actually have some Jordan Six Lows for $25. Dude said they had some Space Jam 11s in yesterday. Um, I'm gonna get them that they're very soft suede, shoe size 13, very clean. I was having a conversation with the manager, so I really wasn't um, recording them, but you guys can see the shoes right now because of course I'm not leaving without some footage. Oh my gosh. So shout out Goodwill, man. Here are the Jordan 6s. <sighs> Panther black colorway, nice supple suede. Got the chrome hits on it. <sighs> Absolutely glorious, 24 bucks, dude. 
Always worth stopping by the Goodwill on the way back from Ikea. Oh. Yeah, dude. These are nuts. But uh, anyways, dude, today has been beyond crazy in terms of like stuff I found. Just keep the ball rolling, dude. All right, guys, man, we got um, two more finds. You got the Nike Sportswear um, 2X Made in USA Vintage T right here. And then you also have the Vintage Brazil Nike Soccer Jersey. Both of them are really sick. And then above, you got um, some more Jordans. You got the little Baby Air Jordan 4s, gold and black, six bucks. I might put them on a plush. I um, might make them into planters either way gotta get them oh hell no nah, bro and they got the jordan sixes for babies dude it smells like straight shit in here oh my god and the little air maxes too these are 10 bucks dude these are hard as well though and we back baby yeah all right guys so um here are the jays that i got once again the ever so clean and available on my vintage website thrift heaven vintage Dot com. So yeah, you got the Jordan 6 Black Panther Lows. These are like, I feel like there's water dripping down my mouth. These are really clean, so of course I had um, to go ahead and grab these dudes. They're gonna be available probably for like 60 bucks. I got them for 25, so a uh, pretty good little deal online. Um, the link is down below to my site. They're size 13 once again. And then all this stuff, I need to do something about these glasses. All this stuff that I got at the flea um, is absolutely extraordinary, as is the magic trick that Tweety's doing. You guys basically have seen all the plushes. Um, you guys not might not be part of the plush wave, but hey man, that's your personal loss in life. Um, got the little Ernie. This dude is so dope with his outfit. This Mickey is so creepy with his fit, but he is very, very old. Um, just look at his little face, bro. I don't know, this dude definitely is not going in my bedroom. Speaking of which, all the records that I got at the first thrift store and the little accoutrements um, are like in my bedroom on this cool display. I'll just show you guys that right now. But yeah, I just figured this is a dope way to display my little odds and ends that I get in a cool way with the records as the bag drops to the themes of the little squares. So yeah. Um, I also did get this M&M, which I'm going to put a plant in. Stay tuned for that. And then last and certainly not least, um, the two jackets that I got once again were the really sick racing jackets, um, or jacket. I got this Dale Senior, baby. Actually, this is Junior, baby. It's the Oreo racing jacket. Sorry about it being all undid. Um, yeah, this thing is really sick. And it got the Ritz Crackers on the back right there. That'll be for sale. Um, and then I got the Chicago Bulls. They're asking 40, did not pay that. Swingster jacket with bulls on the back. And it has patches on both of the sleeves. So yeah, man, I also do have the Ikea rug on deck. I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put that. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, man, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Sorry for the lag on videos. I just, you know, haven't had as much time to edit. Been running around to Dallas doing pop-ups and uh, basically just been grinding and shining, baby. So live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked and loaded and I'm out. See ya, man. See ya. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.